Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking into the ROI times of all Casper ASIC miners. So right now we've got a bunch of new ones coming online in terms of the Wind Miner K9 and the Ice River KS0 Pro. If we scroll down here on Mine the ASIC, we can see it there. Now it does show ROI times here, but this is all very dependent on actually the price of Casper coin. Also, it doesn't take in account necessarily the emission schedule of Casper coin. So today I actually put together a spreadsheet, which I'll link in the description below, and you guys can actually edit the stuff, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But I'm basically gonna give you an overview of what the ROI looks like at different ranges for different Casper coin miners, a very comprehensive overview and a Excel spreadsheet, which you could basically edit and it will make adjustments according to what you put into the values. So here we have our spreadsheet and this is basically all the numbers outlined for Casper mining in terms of ASIC miners. If we look, we have the wind miner K9, Bitmain KS3, but there's two. So there's one for 4.9 terahash and there's one for 8.3 terahash. And then there's the Ice River KS3, KS3M, KS2, KS1, KS0 Pro and the KS0. So all of these figures can be edited and it will update in real time. So as we see here, the hash rate. So I know that there's some overclocks for the KS0. We'll get into that in a minute. And obviously all the ice for other products, the power that can be edited as well. The daily Casper reward can be edited. So can the price. So this is in Casper. I just want to make that clear. The price in dollars, the revenue in dollars, the profit in dollars, and then the days in ROI. So at current calculations, if we're talking right now, and if Casper coin stayed at the same price with the same amount of hash rate on the network, we'd be looking at a ROI for 116 on the K9, 110 on the KS3 9.4, 117 on the KS3 8.3, 107 on the KS3 for Ice River, 49 days for the KS3M, 113 for the KS2, 119 for the KS1, 133 for the Pro, and 306 for the KS0. Now, the only problem that I have with these ASIC mineable websites is I know it shows the payback time there. It doesn't let you edit the price of Casper coin because obviously it will update with the price of Casper coin, but you can get projections out of this spreadsheet based on changing these numbers basically here. These are three numbers which would basically update the whole spreadsheet, but we'll get into that in a little bit. However, the ROI times are not based on the emission schedule of Casper coin. So there's some varying degree of inaccuracy when you're looking at these mineable sites, because it will just show you the ROI based on the amount of Casper coin that you can mine at the time. And it doesn't necessarily take into account the emission schedule of Casper coin, which in theory should half the amount of Casper coin basically every year. So as you can see here, we are at the 155 range per block, and this has just gone into it. So 155, and then if we scroll down to a year, which is here, we're at 77. So nearly half of what 155 is, which basically means Casper halves every year. But we've accounted for all the next 12 months in this spreadsheet. And if you are watching this very, very in the future into 2020, because that's when it would be uh, necessary to update it again, then I will leave probably a link in the description to an updated version in 2025 if you guys really need one in 2025 for, you know, there'll be definitely other miners out there that you should probably add on to this list. So the way that it works is the daily Casper reward is based on the return per mega hash times by the hash rate. So we have 0.00275 Casper coin times by the hash rate. Now, for updating these numbers here, you'll probably have to update. I can't get it to work in Google Sheets to actually update, you know, uh, hourly or whatever. But the figure comes from hash rate NO, and it's this rewards per one mega hash. So this is updated constantly. So if you need a real figure, and this is going to link back to basically the difficulty and the hash rate on the network. So you don't have to look at any of that. You just take this figure. Remember, it's relatively rough estimate there. But when you take this figure and input it here, that's going to give you the actual return per one mega hash at the time of you, you know, calculating this stuff out. 
Same with the price of Castle Coin, that's easy. You just change it based on what it is at the time. Probably just get it from Coin Market Cap because that gives you an average of what it would be. And then the power cost is dependent on how much you pay for power. So as I said, the daily rewards is the hash rate and then it's times the return per one mega hash. And then the revenue is simple. It's just the daily Casper rewards times the price of Casper coin right now in US dollars. So that gives us the revenue. Then the profit is actually the power times by 24 because it's 24 hours in a day and then times by the power cost here. Then simply the ROI days is the price of the ASIC at the time. Then it's divided by the profits. So that gives you the ROI for days only for this month if Casper remained at the same hash rate. So you'll probably have to use different figures. As I said, hash rate NO has this figure right here and the price of Casper coin you can get from you know, coin market cap or coin gecko if you want to be specific on the actual price of Casper coin. As I'll show you now, if we edit any of these, if we just say it's at five cents, everything changes in terms of the ROI days, profits, revenue, and stuff like that. It also changes to this side, but I'll explain what this is in a minute. So if we just go back from that, also if we change the return on mega hash, let's get rid of that, it will actually edit it all as well and it will update the daily Casper rewards. So that's the main thing that you'd wanna look at because that's how much Casper you would be getting in. The price of Casper doesn't have any effect of how much rewards you'll be getting in. It's all about the difficulty, the hash rate on the network, and then that would coincide with the return per one mega hash. So very easy setup that I've done for you guys. Now you're probably wondering, this is actually for November. So this is the ROI of all the ASICs for November. So this would be for the next 30 days. This is how much profit you'd on average get. Now, when I scroll down, this is actually December. So as you can see there, the mining rewards are actually different. So we have a daily reward of 2,832 for the K9, and then it drops to 2,662. This is based on Casper's emission schedule. So we've done the calculations there. You don't really need to know about that, but we've actually done it out for the rest of the year up until the next November. So as you can see there, by next November, the K9, if everything stayed the same on the network, would be earning 1,348 Casper per day, which would give us a revenue of $48 and a profit of $76 right there. And it also gives us the ROI in days. So that's basically all planned out for you. You don't really need to look at any of these as per se right now. But if we look here, this is the main chart that we're gonna look at. So what you're seeing here is a calculation of every month. It's the ASIC price minus this number. This is daily, obviously. And that's times by 30 for the amount of days, which is in November, December, January, February, March. So you'd be taking off that much in profit. Now for December, it's actually linked to this number. Then for January, it's linked to this number. So we've got all the numbers figured out so that it coincides with the emission schedule so you can see an actual ROI time of all of these miners and we can actually change it in real time. What we're looking at here is in the red is you're not going to hit ROI. As soon as you go into green, it will give you ROI. Now the thing about this chart as well that is very good is that we're also seeing how much Casper coin you'll be stacking up throughout the period after ROI, depending on when you get the miner. So you can see here in the month after March, if you got one of these K9s right now, you'd be earning 2,600. Then it would go over to 6,290. Then it would go over to 9,737. So this is this plus this plus this plus this, and it keeps going. And then by the end of the year, if you bought one now, and if everything stayed the same on the network, as I said, these two numbers are basically the main ones that you would be changing on the sheet because the price of Casper coin obviously changes and the returns per mega hash changes. So if you did buy a K9, you'd have $26,000. Remember this is in dollars by the end of November of 2024. So we can actually update this in real time. As I said, all these numbers will change. So let's say Casper goes to seven cents. 
That means that the ROI is obviously going to be quicker and we'd have $31,000 worth of Casper coin. Now, I want to point out that the ROI on the KS0 is basically past a year. So I wouldn't recommend getting a KS0 unless, you know, the price of Casper coin really shoots up, which would coincide with more hash rate, obviously. So this number would be less, but let's put it at 0 0.018. So 18 cents per coin. That would pretty much ROI the KS0 pretty quickly and the rest of them obviously very quickly as well. So you can see how you can change those figures to whatever it was. So this was 0 0.62, I believe. And as you can see, as of now, if you got these miners, you would ROI on the KS3 from Ice River or the KS3M from Ice River the quickest. And then the month after that, in March, you would basically ROI on the rest of them apart from the KS0 Pro and the KS0. You know, many people have been asking about if it's worth it to buy the KS0 Pro. Obviously, it depends on the price of Casper coin and obviously it depends on the return per mega hash. As you can see, if we reduce this number to 0 0.001, so we're earning less, it would actually make everything non-ROI. So it needs to stay above a certain amount whilst the price of Casper coin also goes up. So let's say it is on 001 and we input the price of Casper coin as 20 cents, it will actually bring ROI back onto the sheet. It's a very easy way to calculate out, I guess, ROI times, but right now this is mainly what the ROI times look like for all of these ASIC miners. Now, as I said, you can basically edit everything in here. So you can edit the average price and everything will change. So let's just say that it drops down to 15,000. It's going to change the ROI of the Wind Miner K9. It's going to change the ROI days as well. So you can see that you can basically edit any of these to whatever metrics you find on other websites. Like see if you get it for 15,000. That means that you could change this number to 15,000 and get the right calculations outwards. Now you can also change the hash rate. So with the KS0, I know that you can get those overclocks and with a lot of other Ice River products, you can get the overclocks as well. So KS0 is not 0.1, it's about 0.12, I believe. And that would give us a more profit, let's just say, and the ROI time would come down. So you see in a year, you would actually ROI on the KS0 if you bought one now, let's just say. For example and i'm sure that you can edit it for you know the ks1 let's say it goes up to 1.5 that's the hash rate you can see that the roi just changed there and it brought it down to two months so everything in this sheet can be edited dependent on what kind of metrics you're looking at so as i said currently roi is pretty pretty quick for asic miners so it's around on average i'd say four to five months this is accounting also the emission schedule so as I said, it's going to change on a day by day. So you need to update the mega hash, return on mega hash. As I said, you can get that figure from hash rate NO. If we refresh it, it shows a different figure there. So it's at 0 0269 right now instead of 0 00275. So we can edit that and everything also edits as well. Same with the price of Casper coin. If we just do a quick search on coin market cap, you can see Casper is actually at 0, 0.0. 6468 so we can copy that paste it into here and then everything should update from there so as i said i'll leave this linked in the description below it's a uh, public viewing so anyone can actually view it uh, i don't believe you can edit it you need to download your own version to start editing but you can actually work out the roi times based on different casper coin prices the returns per mega hash which as i said coincides with the difficulty and the hash rate on the network. And then you can obviously change power cost. So we can have it at 15 cents. It will put ROI a little bit higher. If you're at 20 cents, I know that's very high still, it will change the ROIs as well. So as I said, linked in the description, if you guys wanna use it for your future projections. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 3000 subscribers by the end of the year. Hopefully this video did help you and you got some information from it. If it did, please leave a like and leave a comment below if you'll be getting any of these ASICs in the future and be using the sheet for ROI projections.